Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of Nice Corner. Hope you guys are wonderful and you are blessed. And before anything, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with everything in Nice Corner and also that bell notification as well. Today is a very special series. I already posted a preview on it of bridging the gap, the elephant in the room, and us as diasporans and people from the continent, us talking about different issues that we, that we have, different misconceptions, just understanding each other in a more better light. It's all based on education and just other people's personal experiences. Lately in the culture, there has been a lot of different talk about each other. And there is a way how to tackle situations where we don't talk about each other, but actually talk to each other in a positive, healthy light. In this video, this video is very important. This series, welcome me on this three-part series as we crack open the elephant in the room, identify exactly what is the elephant in the room. It was actually Nigeria's idea to do this and I put things together for her and it was just important to for us to really sit down and really, really talk to each other about, about things that are a little bit more sensitive and uh, but we had an extremely fruitful conversation with some amazing people that uh, were so willing to rearrange their very, very busy schedules because they understood the importance of this as well. So. And we have a lot of wonderful, dynamic people joining this conversation, such as um, two YouTubers, Nana Ashanti and Mr. Tim Swine, who is the president and CEO of, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Anidanzo360 Project, which is wonderful. We also have the president and CEO of One Billion Africa, Prince Adu Apia, as well as Israel Fuga, who is the founder of AfriGuard. So if you guys see my art video, you know exactly who I'm talking about, as well as other dynamic people, such as Naya Lacey, Adora Frederick, and also Mwada Maya, who is joining us for the conversation. So please, you guys do not want to miss this. Let's get into the conversation. I think there's something that you need to understand with them. I don't know about you, but um, brother, like, have you left Canada before? Like, doing it? Oh, I think, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I want to ask a question, yeah. Do you think you're an African or you think you're a black guy? Do you call yourself a black guy or an African? I call myself an African. Let me tell you something. I never knew I was black mm -hmm. until I left the continent. Yeah, me too. Mm. I'm, like, I, this is something that, like, sometimes I tell the fellow, my fellow brothers, and like ninety percent of Africans living in Africa doesn't know they're black. No. All they know is I'm from Ghana, I'm from Nigeria. Okay. okay um, should I say this? Mm -hmm. You know, um, when you say of black, to us, I I like it. You say something about understanding. Mm -hmm. How we do understand certain things over here is different from the diasporans or someone mm -hmm. from the West. Mm -hmm. You see, when you come to me, ask me, are you a black or an African? I will say Africa because I know I come from Ghana in Africa. And you're acting a black, I would think in terms of complexion. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You see? Mm. You get what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So that is how we are. Yeah. 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 So that means that uh, you think in terms of pigmentation or complexion, yeah. but you would think in terms of race, race I'm uh, with respect to the environment yeah. you find yourself in. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So when people start saying that you black, you should be proud, I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> 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 I went to I, 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 China, CCS. I went to China and then the first time somebody was calling me a black man, I just turned back, why are you calling a black man? Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to Ghana, I know that my skin color, I think, yeah. I, it's yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 
then also I got to know people and everyone is oh that's a white man, that's a black man, that's a yellow and I was like, oh wow, which one have I better? Yeah. Until I have to learn, okay, so so this one. I'm telling you, so I saw so many African Dutch for them. When you're dealing with Africans, please try to understand right. their level. Otherwise you might think that oh these Africans don't have sense or something. Yeah. It's the way we were brought up. We don't know. Uh, even yeah. our history, yeah, that's coming to that. even our history, like the slave uh, history and all that, trust me, I'm just going to be honest here. I started learning about slave history when I started traveling within Africa. Yeah. I knew nothing, absolutely nothing that, okay, our brothers and sisters were taken from yeah. the continent. When I started learning our history, I developed hate from anybody who's not black. Mm. Let me. T- I'm just being honest. Please, yeah. Please. Well, <laughs> see, I have dated women from different because I lived in China. I had mm-hmm. Japanese, Russians in my class, so you got a chance to date anyone you want. Because I was coming from Africa, hey, I want to taste something new. <laughs> <laughs> so when <laughs> I have nothing like okay, my young ancestors sold um, my ancestors, so I don't have. I, I didn't know anything about it. Mm-hmm. Until I started traveling, first time I went to Cape Coast Castle was when I wanted to do a video. Mm-hmm. Ah, what? How many Ghanaians will mm-hmm. be like, oh, I've been to the Cape Coast Castle, just to go and learn my history. I've been to Elimina Castle. We have, we, we, we are not interested. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 How many years ago was that? Bro, it's just one year, I'm telling you. That's one year, that's something to think about. There is a, there's a reason why you're not interested. It's the same with me. Why would that be interested when social studies at the primary level oh, spoke okay. about the fact that you know your grandparents were stupid, they just yeah. gave drinks out of the yeah. mirror yeah. and yeah. so why would you be interested? Is there something that you will shy away from? In the curriculum in Ghana, I have a school right here around the corner, in the curriculum in Ghana, they just switched over this year, um, at the beginning of this year. They literally, last year BC, was the first time my students wrote, and they asked them, what are the benefits of slavery? <laughs> and you have to list 10 benefits of slavery, I'm 10 this and that. Yeah, yeah. Look it up and yeah, show it's true. true. You see, have yeah, 10 wow. benefits of colonialism. And one of the benefits, <laughs> I was in my class, right? So, so, so <laughs> the kids have to, so here's what happened one night. The kids have to come and camp from the boarding house in the school. So they were there, and I was driving some of the kids to get food, and we're coming back, and they were like, oh, Auntie Santo, I'm just going to say something. Tell me if it's right. Because they went to write exam. Mm-hmm. So they have to recite it back to me. So one of the girls, very smart girl, Esther, she was going, okay, benefits of colonialism. Oh, they brought churches. Oh, they brought schools. Yeah. Oh, they brought health care. Mm-hmm. And they, they, they brought civilization. And I'm like listening in the car, mm-hmm. like, wait, what is going on? That in my heart. And, <laughs> and when she went, yeah. that was the question, a whole West African examination council wrote this down for 14 and 12 year olds to recite and tell it back to them to score to go to the next level. I didn't even know African Americans exist. I thought they were like dumped like in the sea somewhere. I thought everybody, when I went to America to New York for school, I thought all the black people I saw were like me, like they came from Ghana, Ghana. <laughs> Senegal, mm-hmm. Trinidad. That I thought they had all like their parents had brought them there and they were generations. So to find out that there are actually some of the slaves that we're taking that actually have generated, it was like my mind was like blown. Mm-hmm. Go on the streets and ask anybody in Ghana. They don't know who's going to The first time I met an African American was in a classroom where, okay, we are all from different parts of the world. And then we just went to class for the first time, and our teachers are get to know each other. So I saw a fellow black man, oh, Charlie, which African country are you from? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this guy got so mad. <laughs> what are you saying? What? What? what are you saying? I'm not from Africa. Yeah. Whoa. I was like, oh, wow. It's insulting. It's insulting. Yeah. 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 Growing, yeah. Up, growing up, to ask that question of me, am I African? No, actually, it was an insult. You, you heard it. African booty scratcher. Why? Exactly. You know, the, the, the show is very funny. If you've seen it, African yeah. booty scratcher. The show is very funny. Show? Yeah. It's oh. very funny. But like the idea to be to come from this place where there is wickedness and evil mm-hmm. and flies and poverty. Yes, you know, what? Yeah. It's the same thing as your curriculum. Yeah. If you ask the question, where does the curriculum come from? Yes. 
You're not writing the curriculum. No. I'm not writing That's the curriculum. Right. The curriculum is coming from dominant Eurocentric mm -hmm. culture that is designed to keep you dumb and disconnected from one another. Exactly. 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 Exactly.
the, the thought processes um, that they find so profound uh, have come from people who look like them in yeah. Greece or yeah. whatever, you know. And so that is all by design, whereas they did the same thing here. Uh, when they split up, just like you said, you were told to do the same thing. That's because we're all the same people. So they yeah, came right. and they split up this this continent so that we wouldn't know each other. And the less we know about each other, the harder it will be for us to unite and take back ourselves. So here we are on this continent with all the gold, oil, bauxite, <laughs> timber, diamonds, and we think we're poor. Yeah. Exactly. Look how they fooled us to thinking that we we are sitting on the richest, the richest place on the planet, mm -hmm. but we think that we're in third world. Yeah. When the so-called first world, they, they don't even have one tenth of the resources mm -hmm. that they oh, yeah. have. So it's, it's a big game that they played on. Yeah. Yeah. That is just the beginning. What you just saw is just the beginning. The conversation went into deep depth. As I said before, we sat here and we talked for two hours, if not a little more. It was liberating just speaking to our, our brothers and sisters from Ghana about the issues that they face. And we discussed the issues that we face. We went into deep detail, so you really don't want to miss these three parts. We left, we left the conversation just, we ate afterwards because we had a buffet style <laughs> meal for everyone and we just talked more and more. It was awesome. It was awesome as well as educational and it yeah. really shows that we have a lot to gain from each other. So please, you guys do not want to miss this. Before anything, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video share with it, others so it. we can really get into this in really deep depth. I love you guys, and please stay tuned for the next video. Bye. Bye.